to the women, power to the crown. Power 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 to the crown. Power to the crown. For all the women and girls that hold up the other half of the sky. You see, I fell in love with Mary Wollstonecraft when I read a vindication of the rights of woman, and it changed my life forever. I wrote this song for all women and girls with flaws and imperfections, regardless of your complexion. Just know that I see the beauty within each and every one of you, along with your intelligence. Your worth and meaning into you are leading in numbers that are equal to men I make a vow to keep receding Every female possesses differences, variables within their identities Nature's created complexities which society should accept unconditionally Like all multidimensional beings They can only be understood ambiguously No man harbors the right to put a woman in a box And tell her that she should behave more conservatively The females need protection and we as men should do what we can to protect them The truth is, a women don't need our protection, I stand in recognition Say this with respect and admiration As a majority to women and girls to protect us For they are the ones that raise the children I love you with all of my heart, mom And will forever cherish our infinite connection You are a source of unconditional love and genuine affection Even when we don't see out of eye, I've always respected your conviction You've consistently built me up with the intention That I'd ultimately become a better person Motherhood must be extraordinary Unparalleled within the human experience However, I don't want your women to think That they're meant for a life of obedience Solely in submission to children and men I encourage you to look within And clearly recognize the motherhood Is not the only place in which your value lies Power to the people Power to the crown Power to the women Who be holding up the style Power to the people Power to the crown I see the glorification of the female body, but it's rather to see a validation of the female mind. It's men we should look to women to describe and listen when they define what it means to be objectified. No man has the right to tell anyone with whom she inevitably might become intimate with. Subconsciously, some of us be given lenses that distort reality. We've been sold a mythology surrounding female beauty by the cosmetic industry, manipulated by people that have their vested interests. In shaping our psychology in 2019, the business had a net worth of 532 billion internationally. I'm concerned about how those advertisements affect women and girls internally, and in turn, how they cause us to treat each other individually. In our society, females as a majority spend more on beauty commodities than they do in education annually, which perpetuates a cycle of disempowerment, keeps them from advancing economically. I accept all females unequivocally, however, they're those who wish to mention specifically. Those that are black, brown, translates being queer, enabled differently I want you to know that I see your humanity, strength, vitality, ability, wisdom, and insight Just know that there are so many women and girls that I admire and aspire to be like Indigenous women have been facing the crisis on which we should all place an emphasis in 2016 On some reservations that will care to 10 times the rate The national average in addition 5,590 indigenous females have been missing And there should be an investigation eternally From what I've read, this isn't even being taken seriously A calling your women to seize power but means of education Creating a shift in awareness, translating innocence Becoming vigilant, taking self-defense classes The mastering of militant soul for man touches you In a way that's inappropriate You can take control, break his nose and expose all of his weaknesses Power to the people, power to the crown Power to the women who be holding us down Power to the people, power to the crown Power to the women who be holding us down The current condition of women deserves considerable attention Anyone with intuition can tell that there's a broken mechanism When 15 men, little girls have been raped And 72% of females are forced into prostitution Die by liquid domination through genital mutilations That are performed on four-year-old children 53 men, women are illiterate, innocent Trapped in ignorance, that's absolutely unacceptable Because it makes them more susceptible to starvation, degradation, and subjugation Internalize every correlation between lack of education, domestic violence, hopelessness, and systemic oppression I would encourage every female to be suspicious of all forms of obedience that require a blind submission To patriarchal authority I would encourage every man to look inside yourself psychologically To examine the anatomy of your own toxic masculinity and the misogyny you carry, they conduct the study on how that affects all the human beings around you Sociologically, what is the probability your words could inevitably increase in one's perversity, hostility Or become the reason they reach out, strike or take advantage of a female violently I stand in solidarity with women and girls all over the world, regardless of your ethnicity And I even embrace every single one of you 
with a trans woman identity I'm aware that in 2020, 42 trans women were murdered violently because of racism, misogyny, and male supremacy I do what I can, which show that you live a life of dignity and increase your visibility to all women of every variation that nature embodies some sovereign control of their mind and bodies have achieved equality, social, economic, and politically to you stand at the pinnacle of liberation every right has been manifested you become a full-fledged citizen of the country you live in I will never willingly give up and I will never willingly give in Nah Power to the people, power to the crown dedicate this song to you, for you are the wind at my back. I will allow the love that you gave me to flow through me. May it intentionally rip it throughout all of eternity. Indefinitely. Shayna. I see you. You got a four-year bachelor's degree. I am so proud of you. I think it's important to acknowledge that the coronavirus has wreaked havoc on the health and well-being of women and girls all over the world and the truth is, there's no time like the present to make a difference. We all need each other more than ever right now, so let's come together. I'm ready to live in a world where women and girls are my equals or superiors, it doesn't threaten me. It's long overdue. Women and girls all over the world deserve to live a life of dignity, equality and opportunity where their abilities grant them access to possibilities. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Go say. Talking to the woman on the block, eh? Talk to the woman on the block, eh? Hey.